Good morning. Welcome to The Radical Centrist. I am your host, Gail Chulo, reporting live from Florida, New York. This is our first episode of Questionable Facts, the segment where we take a question from a Twitter fan, somebody who tweets at me, and we analyze the question, look at it in the most nonpartisan way possible, like a true centrist. And this week we got a tweet from a fan, goes by the name of Stevie Beetle, and it says, What do you think, Gail? Does Rand Paul need a haircut? Sure looks like it to me. By the way, I love your tie. Uh, Thank you for that. This was not an expensive tie. It's actually a clip-on. I got it at Walgreens, I think. But uh, thank you, Stevie. Appreciate the support and great question. So Rand Paul, a senator from Kentucky. I, I really like him a lot. He's definitely in my top 200 favorite senators, I would say. My top two are probably Bernie Sanders and Mitch McConnell, but I've always been a huge fan of Rand. I think he's a really cool guy, really handsome guy too, um, which is going to pertain to this episode actually. So let's let's break this down. Let's analyze this because Rand Paul's hair has kind of gone through a couple of different evolutions throughout the years. You know, you have sort of the young, confident, clean cut Rand Paul from when he was in his 30s and early 40s. And then as of late, you know, if you see him now on the news, he's pretty much just always arguing with Dr. Fuchichi about the coronavirus stuff and the mask mandates and the lockdowns and definitely looks a little bit more disheveled now, which uh, makes sense. I understand why you ask that question now, because it doesn't look like the Rand Paul that I grew up with. But nevertheless, what we're going to do is look at a couple of different pictures of his hair from over the years, and we're going to zoom in and analyze it and uh, see if we can come to a definitive answer as to whether or not he needs a haircut. Now, I'm not clairvoyant, but I'm willing to bet that by the end of this episode, I'm not going to have a clear answer for you, but uh, that's kind of my job as a centrist. So um, let's take a look at this first one. So here's like a really young Rand Paul, really good looking guy, you know. Um, So let's, let's zoom in here. Let's see what's going on. So I'm not even sure what you would call this haircut. I mean, some people might call it a bird's nest. Almost kind of looks like a white person's version of Jerry Curls, in a way. Very unique look. Very distinct to him. I can't think of any other senators that have a haircut like this, um, which is one of the reasons why I like him so much. I mean, not only are his policies good, I think, uh, maybe they're not, but his hair is great, too. Um, So this is, you know, uh, really young Rand Paul. Let's go to a couple years later. Look at that. You could tell he's really feeling his hair in that picture. I mean, look at that little smirk on his face. Really good looking guy. Um, let's zoom in. Let's take a look and see if there's a widow's peak or like a receding hairline. Not terrible. Not terrible for a guy his age. It almost looks like he might be using a little bit of hair gel in this picture as well. So that might be accentuating the style a little bit, which I think is a really good look for him. So, so far, I'm very happy with the hair. Um, so let's get to something a little bit more recent. Okay. Now this is something has happened to him for sure. I mean, I can understand why he's one of the few Republicans that's calling for legalization of marijuana because, I mean, he looks like he's just been in his basement for this entire coronavirus lockdown, just hitting the bong hard all day. I mean, something's going on. Not that there's anything wrong with that, too. I mean, you know, more power to him if that's what he likes to do. Let's take a look at another one. Yeah, look at that. This this is what I'm talking about. Dr. Fichichi, they just go at it in these meetings. Um, They argue about all these things that I don't really understand and I don't have a position on, but... They really uh, do not have a good chemistry at all. So, and obviously you can also see the addition of the beard as well. And he's a little bit older in this one. So there's some slight gray hairs in the beard as well as the haircut as well. But um, I don't know. I don't think it looks terrible though. I mean, he looks like a guy that could be, you know, living in North Dakota, going hunting for all of his food, living in a town that's populated by maybe 30 people, which is great for him. You know, he doesn't have to worry about people uh, ratting on him when they find his uh, weed stash. You know, and then another thing that I found that was pretty interesting was this. They've actually, you know, done some segments on his hair. This is actually uh, more. There's been more press about this than I would have expected. So if you look at this CNN, they actually did a whole thing about how he cuts his hair. And his wife was actually on the show talking about it. Look, Rand Paul cuts his own hair. His wife, Kelly, is uh, talking about it. And I mean, look at look at that look on her face. I mean, she is smitten for him. She definitely is feeling his hair. So this was probably before the coronavirus thing happened and he grew the beard and kind of let himself go. But I say let himself go very loosely. I think he still looks good. Um, It's just a different kind of good, like the bad kind of good, you know. Um, But 
Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, it's an interesting topic to explore. I'll have to think about it more. So to answer your question, does Rand Paul need a haircut? Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe, maybe not. Uh, I think either way, he looks good. I don't really have a strong preference either way, and uh, I don't think you guys should either. I think, you know, hair is kind of an irrelevant thing, and I don't really think we need to spend too much time thinking about it and analyzing it and looking at pictures and stuff like that. It's kind of just not a productive use of our time. Um, so I'm sorry for this episode. It, that was kind of a waste, but I do appreciate the question. It was a great question, and uh, we should do more stuff like this in the future. But uh, that is our segment for today, and I will see you guys at the next episode. This is Gail Chulo reminding you to stay grounded and stay centered. This is The Radical Centrist.